First, I would like to just present the study. Uh, in fact, the Condor study is a prospective uh, phase two, three uh, trial looking at the role of PSMA uh, imaging in uh, recurrent prostate cancer who progress biochemically uh, after uh, primary treatment, either a radical prostatectomy or radiation uh, therapy. And this study uh, was uh, performed to get the FDA approval of the, uh, uh, of the PYL, the specific tracer used uh, in uh, this uh, study. And in fact, uh, this tracer has just been uh, accepted by the FDA for approval uh, for use in, in patients right now. So the study uh, basically uh, asked the, the, uh, the physician to undergo uh, PYL, uh, PSMA, PET-CT in these patients and ask them uh, what was the, their management plan before the PYL and after, and then try to uh, correlate the, uh, uh, the uh, findings on the uh, PSMA PET-CT with either histopathology or uh, correlative imaging. And after the, uh, the imaging, they asked again the uh, different investigator uh, what was their management plan to see if there was a change uh, due to the, the imaging. So uh, basically, uh, we, uh, we have found uh, in this multicenter study uh, conducted in Canada and the U.S. that uh, the correct localization rate, which was the comparison between histopathology or correlative imaging, was pretty good between the PYL uh, PET-CT and, and uh, the standard of truth. Uh, so, in fact, we found correlation in about uh, 85 to 90 percent uh, based on the different uh, parameters that were used showing that the PSMA PET-CT was pretty precise uh, in this patient population. And interestingly, the, um, the, the PSA at which the PSMA uh, PET-CT was done was very low, 0 0.8, which is very, very small. And that led to a difficulty in obtaining biopsy in every patient. So we had to uh, use, instead of just histopathology, like a biopsy to prove that it was a true positive, to use uh, other uh, parameters to, um, to evaluate if the, uh, the, the finding on the PSMA PET-CT was, uh, was good. And, and, and this correlative imaging, we didn't know uh, if those were uh, good surrogates for um, a true positive. So in that study, in this sub-analysis that we present right now, uh, it, we, we tried to see if there was difference, uh, predictive positive value or correct localization rate uh, between histopathology, which is a recognized standard of truth for, for imaging, and these other correlative imaging. Uh, uh, and uh, we found, in fact, what we report here is that uh, uh, the uh, correlative imaging using either uh, CT scan, MRI, or fluciclovin uh, PET-CT uh, were as good as histopathology uh, to uh, determine the, the uh, true positive uh, uh, lesion found on uh, a PSMA PET-CT. So that was one thing, very interesting. This is novel because this has never been validated in other studies uh, to, to my knowledge. The, the second point that we've shown is that uh, uh, what was known from other studies is that the PSMA PET-CT uh, conducts to a uh, change in management in many patients that are uh, showing recurrence after uh, primary treatments. In fact, it show a difference in 63% of the, the patient. So uh, I think despite uh, PSMA PET-CT has been uh, studied in many, many uh, other studies, this one is, is pretty uh, unique as being a multicenter prospective, the readings were blinded, and all the findings at very low PSA were correlated with uh, either histopathology or correlative imaging in a blended manner. And I think this is because of this reverse uh, design of the disease that we uh, have been able to uh, show really novel ways to, to use molecular imaging and study it.